one does crave for simple, straightforward and easy reads at times. And the book that I'm going to talk about today is just that category. The people who already know me know that The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair is one of my favorite books. The bedrock of this book is a murder mystery which keeps on becoming more and more complex and intriguing as the book goes on. The book is a volume, it's fat, there is no denying about that, but it really does keep you hooked and lets you finish it in time lesser than you would anticipate. The book is a definite page turner and it's one of the very few books which are there in my reread list. So I, this is one book which I think I can pick up some point of time again and go through the whole book all over again. It's a story about this one author who has written one literary masterpiece. But his career somehow became stagnant after that. He was not able to produce anything of that caliber before or after that book. He teaches creative writing and then there is one of his students who he thinks has a lot of potential and he keeps mentoring him. What happens after that is that particular author gets accused of a murder and, and his student comes ahead and helps him out of the whole mess. And then the things that are revealed and the way the story turns is really interesting. The most interesting part is that the murder did not happen right there, right then. It was a murder which happened a long time back. It was 33 years ago and then suddenly that whole case resurfaces. The first chapter in the book is chapter number 31 and then it goes on decreasing and then the last chapter of the book is chapter 1. Now this is one book which got a lot of criticism. A lot of people uh, accused this book of... Uh, downright plagiarism and copying its content from a lot of other books but I somehow really enjoyed reading this book because I had not read any of those other books which people kept saying that this book was borrowed from. The best part of the book for me was not just the intrigue and the murder mystery that was going on but but what I really enjoyed along with that was that every chapter began with one quote which was philosophical thoughtful and somehow commented on whatever was happening and how it was taking place. This book currently is definitely in my top 10 books to read list. So it is a very strong recommendation. If you have read this book, I would love to hear from you what you think about this book. And if you have not, pick it up. You are not going to regret it. This is one book which I think has a very, very, very general appeal. And I think whosoever picks it up will like it. One might get intimidated by the size of it. But other than that, I think the content is quite universal and a lot of people who pick it up will definitely enjoy it. I hope you like this video and feel free to comment if you want to ask anything or if you have anything to say. See you guys.